Okay. Hello, booktubing world. <laughs> I think this lighting is ass, but you know, we're just gonna have to work with it. <laughs> so, I figured that I'd do a reading vlog because I'm doing like a little mini getaway at an Airbnb. I'm just gonna hang out, I'm gonna read. The owner was like, oh, are you coming for the parade? And I was like, um, girl, I'm probably gonna be inside uh, reading. Loser, loser. But I guess there's some kind of parade, probably the St. Patrick's Day parade, but it's raining, so I don't know who in their right mind will be outside, and it definitely won't be my black ass. I will be inside reading my books, minding my business. I kind of want to explore a little bit, even though I'm going to be reading. I kind of want to help a few used bookstores because I do have the books that I unhauled in December that I want to, oh, wow, December three months ago that I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to give that to a used bookstore and just like hang out in some coffee shops and read and just chill. So I figured I'd bring you guys along so you guys can check out the Airbnb. It's really pretty and let you guys see some of the books that I'm going to be getting into for the next three days. So. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so for all those people that think that I'm like 5'2", you girl, is 5'7", okay? I set this up so that you guys can see what the Airbnb looks like. I'm literally sweating right now because that fireplace puts in some serious work. Like, I'm sweating. I got this sweater on. I feel like I'm about to melt. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like as a whole. So over here you have like the bed and then you have the fireplace and then you have the tv which of course you know i'm watching adventure time is anyone surprised this is what it looks like see how cute and cozy it is like this really makes me want to just like buy a house mine would be like all pink though like pink glitter books i would be good it's super cute it's cozy it has this fluffy rug and then over here i'm gonna move you guys okay so you can see and then you have the dining area so this is like where i ate listen this fireplace is just cooking away between that the light and the sweater i feel like i'm about to melt but this is the dining area as you can see and then it has like the rock so then over here you have the kitchen kitchen see it has a little oh this is the fireplace over there but then it has like little leaves it's just super cute over here is the kitchen and this is like where all the little k-cups are and then it has all the dishes right here the microwaves up here and then the pots and pans are on top of that and then there's a sink here i washed all the dishes and then there's a flat top that you will see me struggle with later in this video but i figured it out i figured it out then you have a little reading corner so i ugh, this is like the little corner um, this would be perfect to like read and like hang out, but honestly the whole time that I was reading I was either on the bed or I went to like bookstores and stuff like that But I did film a video which you will see soon on my channel over here in this little corner Hello <laughs> Okay, and then this is like the walkway entrance area place so you have the stairs and then you have the entrance and then through the door I have to like open well, open the door and then open like a little shed area to like get outside. So this is the little bathroom. It has like the toilet, the shower. The shower head is banging, okay? The shower, the water pressure, the sprinkles, it's all good, okay? Then you got like the sink and stuff. The mirror here, there's also like little plants and they're so cute. It makes me want to get one. See, this is how tall I am. I don't know why everyone thinks that I'm like 5'2", but your girl, is 5'7", where my tall girl's at, okay? How did it get shorter? Okay, let me push it back some more. Tall girl struggles. Is this crooked? I feel like it's crooked. What's happening? So, that is the end of the detour. This is what everything looks like. I'm sweating right now because I'm saying this is hot ass fireplace. So, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Close this on out, but that is it. Let's get back into the vlog. I had to put the TV on because it's so quiet here. I'm just like scared to talk. It's like kind of strange. I've never been to an Airbnb before. I feel like I'm in a library, but it's very pretty. I already have food over here, but I'm kind of like annoyed because I didn't realize I couldn't microwave this, but I got pizza. 
I was supposed to put this in the oven, so I don't really know how this is gonna taste. But you know what? I'm still gonna eat it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's, cause you know, these bad boys, which are like little Cheeto Puffs, but they're like peanut butter flavor and they're so good. They were one dollar, so I got these. And I got seaweed chips, which are my go-to, especially the teriyaki flavor one. Like you are missing out if you do not have teriyaki flavored seaweed snacks. Hot Cheetos, obviously. I got banana, bananas, granola bars. I get. Oh, I got a ton of protein bars. These freaking protein bars are literally like giving me life. I got eggs. I got. Oh, I forgot about this. I got. I mm, got gnocchi. I got chocolate, but don't tell nobody. Shh. And I got meatless chorizo. Super cool. I'm really excited to try this. The idea. plan is. Ugh, to read a lot like I'm gonna try to read as much as I can right now. I'm reading Motor crush. I'm like obsessed with this series. I actually really like this I'm so surprised that this wasn't like hyped or anything Nobody was talking about this and I'm reading my sister the serial killer and then I also have um the Priory and the Orange Tree. Like I tried to resist because I was just like, this book is so big and I don't even know what it's about, but they said dragons and I think it's a female female romance. So I kind of want to get into that. And then I have like two videos that I want to film. I'm probably going to just film them here. the pajamas on. I wanted to read Illuminae, but I forgot the book. So that's great. This is actually getting really good. I have like a whole bunch of predictions. This is the thing with like mystery books. I can never like stop thinking about what I think is gonna happen. So I had like three things that I thought as like predictions of what was gonna happen. And so far, I don't think those are gonna happen. So I have a new prediction and I'm trying to like hurry up and get to the end because I wanna know what's gonna happen. But I still have a ways to go with this one. I don't want to finish this tonight because it's not, this is like a really fast read because it's the way like the pages are set up. The chapters are really short. I like short chapters. I hate long chapters. Okay, so I had to park my car on the street and I'm like really nervous. I kind of want to go check and see if my car's still there. Maybe it'll be fine until the morning. kind of want to start this book. <gasps> oh, my arm. So, like, how do you even read this? It's so pretty though, look at it. I kind of want to finish My Sister the Serial Killer because it's like getting really good and I want to know what's going on and what's happening. I have so many predictions. <laughs> okay, the lighting's trash right here. Okay, where is okay? Good morning people. So um I had to do something with my face before I started vlogging because um I forgot to take off my mascara last night so I look like a zombie when I woke up this morning. Also, I forgot to bring wipes, so taking off my mascara this morning with a rough ass towel was just Spectacular. It felt like I was rubbing a brick on my eyes. So if you have any suggestions for like oils or wipes or something like that to use to take this shit off of my face at night, I would greatly appreciate it. But it is like 10 o'clock, I think. I think it's like 10. There's like a little flat top over here. If you can see it. 
here's a flat top right here so i'm gonna attempt to figure out how to use that and i'm gonna make like eggs and this like chorizo shit that i bought that i showed you guys yesterday see the meatless chorizo so if i get something like this at a restaurant i know damn well it's gonna be like 15 dollars. so <laughs> we have it right here so i'm so gonna have to ask youtube because i'm clicking all these buttons and i just feel like i'm fighting with this thing youtube youtube A few moments later. Oh, yes. Oh. I'll have it on 320. I was doing everything right. I think I just had to put a skillet on the pan so I can make it fry. So, it's my soda. beautiful outside um i've been thinking about my car all night i really hope it's okay i don't like parking on the street i like parking in parking lots because then i don't have to get anxiety about if my car is going to get towed or if i'm gonna get a ticket but today is a beautiful day i kind of want to like walk around and hang out but i have a box of used books that i want to get rid of and i'm gonna hit up like a few used bookstores and just hang out so i might drive over there just to be able to drop off the books but this weather is so beautiful I kind of want to just like walk so um, <laughs> I'll figure it out once I get to my car this is the box that I have that is full of books I think I'm just gonna grab some of them and bring them over there. All right. Okay, so I was gonna drive to the bookstore, but honestly, it's so nice out. It's like really pretty. So I kind of just want to walk. I just like loaded up my bag with as many used books that I'm getting rid of as I could and I'm gonna go to I think it's called the book trader cafe so I'm gonna go there first I think I've already been there with my mother but I'm gonna go there first and um, just hang out and read I think I have like 50 pages left in my sister the serial killer so I kind of want to get rid of that and finish this book it's like a 13 minute walk so yeah I'd rather just walk instead of have to look for parking and then look for parking to come back
just finished my sister the serial killer and i'm a little bit annoyed at that ending like i don't know why i thought there was still like three pages left because i think it was like 225 pages but i counted the acknowledgements and the author's note as like a part of the story and it was not so the story ended on 222 and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the ending. I'm kind of like, it's like one of those open endings. Like I, I had all these predictions of things that I thought I was going to happen and they did not happen. I mean, it was still a really good, it was still a really good story though, but the ending just kind of aggravated me. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm kind of like, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to end like that. I mean, I guess I get it. I get it, I guess. But it was just, the ending was so open. I thought something else was gonna happen. I don't know. I need more. I need more of like closure for like that. Okay. All right, I guess. I might as well start this book. I started it yesterday, but I was so used to the writing style of um, My Sister the Serial Killer that I was not ready to start this. So I guess since I finished this one, I might as well start the next one where I could like walk around. Cause I'm in, yeah, I'm in the bookstore now. I already dropped off the books that I brought in. I'm still like, the ending is like really aggravated me. I need to like go talk to somebody about this that has already read it because, okay. Bye. I have left to one bookstore and I'm gonna go to another one. I think it's like down the street right here. Um, I think they have food at this one though. So I think the other one had food too, but it only had like tea and coffee and stuff, so I'm gonna grab lunch over here and check out some of their books. I've already edited half of this vlog, so I feel like I'm really getting something accomplished. It's so beautiful out here. Your girl is like killing it. left the Atticus bookstore and that one was a little bit more busy it was kind of more like a restaurant style but I ended up buying more books is anybody surprised no and I got a new book bag but it's so nice out that I really just want to like sit out and read like outside so I might like find a bench or something and just like hang out outside only because it's so pretty and this is like once in a blue moon because it never is like this it's usually snowing like out here I feel like I could sit like somewhere over there or like somewhere over there because it's like little benches kind of <sighs> it feels so weird because usually I'm like at work right now aggravated in a building with air condition <sighs> sweating still with air condition and right now I'm outside in the sun sitting on this very concrete bench I got a cookie I got a book I got coffee I got beautiful weather and I'm just I'm happy right now <laughs> I'm really happy like I'm just I'm living it's not snowing somebody getting pulled over but it ain't me I am back <laughs> okay so yeah, I was outside, but it was getting a little bit cold, so um, I took that sun coming down sign as my cue to, to leave. It's really hot in here because I left the fireplace thing on, but I just turned it off. So I'm probably gonna film two videos so I can like edit them within the next week or two. I started this book, I'm like, I'm only 10 pages in and I already like it. Like it feels super like fantasy-esque, so it's been a little bit since I've read like a high fantasy book, so I'm pretty interested in see how it goes. Um, so I just keep thinking about how big that book is, but I think it's gonna fly by because it looks like the characters are gonna be really interesting. And as soon as the book started, it's already like starting off captivating and not boring, so I'm kind of excited to see how it goes and what happens. It's like four o'clock, almost five, and I'm sweating, so. the 
end of my stay here. Now I have to walk to my car, which is right around the corner. Kind of want to go to Barnes and Noble, but I know I need to stay out of the bookstore. My bank account says stay away, but my mind says go. This was great. So that is the end of this vlog. Um, I just wanted to say that the reason that I took this little three day mini getaway was because I've made a lot of changes in my life and made some really big changes in my life as far as like leaving my job that I've been at for three and a half years just to focus on myself and ending a relationship that was very long like a four year relationship so for me I just I have so many things that I want to accomplish in my life and so many things that I'm looking forward to for 2019 and a lot of things needs to end in order for me to get where I wanted to be and I feel like if a relationship whether it be work friend boyfriend girlfriend whatever is not beneficial to you you should not entertain it so that's what I'm doing this year I really just took this little mini getaway just to relax and just walk around the city and just enjoy life and read and just do what I wanted to do and that's what I'm gonna be doing all 2019 <laughs> it's a vibe so I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys are having a great year so far thank you so much for watching always remember read a book keep your life interesting and I will see you next time bye <music>